Rock. How does this instrument make its revolutionary history change in sound? My name's Dr. Mark Looney. I've got a PhD in guitar acoustics, and in the next three minutes, I'm going to explain the physics of rock guitar. When I pluck a string, it vibrates and makes a sound by moving from side to side. The pitch of that sound depends on how fast it moves, the fundamental frequency, and that in turn depends on three things. One, its length. The shorter, the higher. When I fret a note, I make the string shorter so the pitch rises. Two, tension. The looser, the lower. When I press down my whammy bar, there's less tension so the pitch drops. And three, thickness. All of these strings are the same length and the same tension, it's just the lower pitched ones are thicker. And to get really low notes, they've got to be really thick, which curiously also applies to bassists. But when you pluck a string, it doesn't just move from side to side. The rich sound you get comes from other patterns, the harmonics. When I rest my finger halfway along the string, so that it vibrates either side of my finger at twice the fundamental frequency, I hear the first harmonic. If I rest my finger closer to the end of the string, a third of the way along, so that it vibrates at three times the fundamental frequency, I hear the harmonic of the second kind. Closer again, I encounter the third kind. And so on. If the fundamentals are 100 hertz, the harmonics are at 200, 300, 400, higher, 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 higher. Strings sound nice because these regularly spaced harmonics are all happening at once. Now, on an electric guitar, magnets convert the harmonics into sine wave signals. Problem is, to fill a stadium, we need to boost these signals. Guitarists in the 1960s tried turning the volume up past the fidelity limits of their amplifiers, which started squashing the top of the sine waves. That squashed top gave each harmonic harmonics of its own, and those false electronic harmonics got their own false electronic harmonics. This cascade of harmonics turned the simplest riff into something powerful. So that rock guitar sound isn't a kind of magic. It's just simple physics.